Hi, I'm Nettie. Veer's I Don't Know EP recently came out, which has four tracks, being Happy Cup, I Don't Know What, and Bad Name, which are some very interesting titles. But of course, the titles came with some absolute bangers, so I thought it would be great timing to make a video on his style. Today, we'll be making rhythm like Veer. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's start out with a drum loop. Okay, so let's start off with making like a little bass thing. We're gonna make a really stubby like one shot kind of thing. Start with something like that. Maybe we can add like a combs filter. And uh, let's see if we can like FM it. Let's see if we can put this like an octave up. Alright, let's start off with that. So, so we have this little wavetable which is being FM'd by the saw wave. This one is an octave down and this one is two octaves down. And then we're just doing some distortion, compression, and then added a combs filter on top to give it a little bit more resonance. Okay, so now let's add a fat rack. Whoa. And let's see if we can add, like, some kind of effect to it to give it, like, some nice decay. Maybe, like, a resonator, but then on, like, on the correct note. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can add a corpus. So maybe we can frequency shift it around, but still will kind of retain the same note in a way. That could kind of work. Maybe we can add an amp. We should be able to work with that. Let's record this to audio. And now let's see if we can pitch it up an octave. And now we can add a fat rack. Yeah, that's kind of what I was looking for. Now let's get a faceplant, and then we're gonna put a sampler, and then drag this in. Veer dunk. Okay, boom. Okay, and now let's make a little MIDI clip where we like just go crazy with this. Um, let's add a little OTT on this, and then let's loop this, and then set the section to be like all the way up, and then let's mess with this sense amount, and then we'll just we'll just go absolutely nuts with it. There we go. Okay, that's really cool, but I don't think it would ever do twin tuplets. Let's see if we could put this an octave down. Hmm, I want to shorten this up a little bit more, I think. Okay, let's try that again. Let's loop this. There we go. And now let's add a serum, and then we'll make a sub out of it. So we'll just get a sine wave, turn this up. Sort it a little bit. And then we'll make a little volume automation like this. And then let's change the pitch range like this. Like that, there we go. Let's add another fat rack to this. I want this to be like kind of muddy in a way. Let's grab another EQ. Let's add a touch of saturation. And it could also use some width, so let's grab a dimension expander. I think this rhythm needs to be a little bit more interesting. Let's automate this uh, length knob here. Right here, let's put a macro onto this. And I think the uh, the pitch automation could also use some changes. Let's get some more uh, width on here. Okay, cool. Let's add some reverby like vocal elements in the background. We should get like a meme vocal and then use that one to reverb it out. Perfect. All right, here we go. We'll just like max reverb this. And then we'll kind of like cut it here. Let's get like the second part of the sound effect. Let's turn up the decay time a little bit. And we could also use some like extra background effects. So let's duplicate this serum. And then let's just get like a super saw. And then we'll do like a... And then we'll take this reverb, put it on here, turn down the decay a little bit. Let's also put some reverb on this clap. So let's duplicate this patch and then we'll loop it. And then we'll add a grain delay, and we can just like mess with these knobs. Like that, and then just get like a really crazy result. Let's also get a utility, and then turn the width down a little bit. And then we'll like record this to audio for like a few minutes, and then like grab the little sections that we like, and then we can use those as like glitches. I like this part. So let's see if we can like just slap that in. Okay, let's duplicate this over. Okay, let's duplicate this phase plant, and then let's make like a variation with it, and then let's mess with like the notes. Let's also mess with like the length of this, so that it's not like the same kind of thing every time. Ooh, okay, that's cool, that's cool. And now we can take like a different glitch here. Let's duplicate this, and then let's like reverb this out. Okay, and then let's duplicate this over again. Alright, and just like that, I pretty much think we're done. So let's go ahead and take a listen to this track.
And just like that, we've made some rhythm like Veer. Let me know if you liked it with a comment down below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.